There's nowhere I can go and not know the ingredients of the dog food nibbles. <coughs> My favourite, of course, is Picky Pooch by Royal Appointment. Oh, it's a corgi's favourite and all. Am I biased? Of course I am biased. It took me many years of experience and tasting to develop and perfect those ingredients. And I've pre-tasted all the corgi's morsels over the years. <coughs> I'm a kibble queen. Oh, and I like a little bit of offal and liver. I'm a liver lover, I am. <laughs> I've had many a dinner party, oh yes, and I've served up a nice tin of dark food and a little bit of kibble pie. Had some right royal guests and all, but I ain't telling. It's a bit like an aphrodisiac, you see. My guests get very friendly after dog meat stew too. Oh yes, I've watched many a guest start sniffing the bum of the other person. Oh yes, sitting next to them. It's the sign of a good meal. The only difficult bit is if they cut their legs up the sofa. Oh, I've had to send them home, I have. One man, he even done that to me granny. Oh, she quite liked it. But she smelt and smelt for days. Now, a quick tip. If you're making a carrot cake, oh, add some nice doggy bony holes. They just finish it off with a nice bit of a nutty, chewy surprise. Wow! <laughs>